Happy Monday, YouTube. Well, it's 1218 here in California. It's August 8th, 2022. And I hope you guys are all having a great start to your week. You know, this free lead platform has been very popular. Yeah, and I've been getting a ton of emails, messages from people that watch my content and really want to learn how to sell insurance over the phones. And they love the idea and the rush of making money selling funeral insurance from anywhere in the world. And this is what it's about. So what I wanted to do is give you guys a little overview of our training. And mainly with the objective that you can see exactly what it is that we're looking for when it comes to an agent to fill up these spots. I'm committed to 100 stations. That means that I'm committed to sending 100 people free leads every single day as long as they can follow our system. So with that said, I wanna give you guys a little overview for all of you guys that are really interested in this program, free leads. We can start you off on a 70 to 80% contract, but you gotta have a desire to win. You gotta be disciplined because if you don't show up every day, we're losing money. You're losing money we're losing money too. So again, my goal here today is to give you guys an overview of what we're looking for, what the training looks like, because if you can't follow what we show you, this is not going to be a good fit. So with that said, let's start with leads. Now, for years, I've been in the lead business. It was an evil necessity. In order to grow my insurance business, I had to have a strong lead system. For the last seven years, I've invested heavily into a live transfer system. So when people ask me, why is it that I prefer a live transfer than an inbound? The reason is because there's a human involved in that process. With an inbound, someone goes to the website and from right then and there, they call you or they call you off a TV commercial, and then they call you. But the intent is not always high. So what we do, my company, is that step one, we compile all that data. Just like you as an agent, you buy leads from different sources, different avenues, we do the same. Whether it's, t whether it's Facebook, TV, radio, direct mail, as long as it's CCPA, Compliant, we're buying that lead. Step two, when we receive all this information, we verify it. And once we verify it, we double verify it. And we're verifying for a true interest in final expense. They have the time to talk to me and you today. And they have a valid check in our savings account. And then step four, we deliver the outcome. And so far, from our experience, 20% of people, regardless of where they reached out to you from, are ready to talk to you today. Think about that, 20%. So it's a small number. But what happens when the agent is able to talk to 100% of their leads their transfers of people that truly want to talk to you. And until you're a part of my team, I will not show you our transfer system, but our transfer setup is designed with one thing in mind. And that's the customer wants a quote within minutes. That's right. They are expecting a quote by the time they come to your phone line. Which brings me to this topic, the introduction, the opening on the phone. When people join our team and they follow our training, we guarantee a 20% conversion ratio guarantee on first contact. 
most lead companies, most people that are doing the phones, they're closing between 8 to 12% on the first contact. And the reason is that they close such a lower amount is because they don't know how to pick up the phone. So if you're watching this, the number one thing I show you is how to pick up the phone, how to make sure that introduction is perfect. Now, this training is not mine, but through the many years of selling, many years of perfecting, I've learned from some good people on the phones. And here is your perfect opening to any phone call. One, remember that when you don't have body language per se, what happens? Well, what happens is that your tonality collapses into your body language. So we have three types of communication. The number one is tonality. That's 45%. Number two is body language. That's another 45%. And three is the words that come out of our mouth. Now, words do matter. Don't get it twisted. That's why we follow a script. But the point is, as a human being, we use so much communication without even speaking. But the words that we say are important, very important. Charisma, my friend, is a learnable skill. And the way you do that is by having effective tonality, appropriate body language, and following the script that I'm going to show you. Because let's be real, when you're on the phone, they cannot see you. Just like you can't see me here. But you're making this mental picture of what you think I sound like. Based off what I'm saying. Now, if you sound good, you sound positive, you sound crisp. You're going to create a positive image in the person that picks up that phone call. If you sound negative, monotonous, you're going to do the opposite. It's going to create a negative image. That's why when you pick up the phone, those first four seconds are the most important ones. They are the most important ones. And this is probably the biggest piece of training that I provide my agents as they get started. You'd be amazed how many agents, they get on the phones and they sound like a robot. But then after the fact, they're wondering why they're not making sales. Tonality is a big one. So again, in the event where you lose body language, where you're doing it over the phone, 45%. It's going to collapse into tonality. So 90% of what happens over the phone is how you sound and how you speak. Now, the words are important as well as the closing strategies, but you got to be able to create a great experience with that lead. Which takes me to this. Our transfer team, they have to follow a very specific transfer system. And I'm happy to say that this year, when I re-engineered our transfer setup, it just put us in front of people that really want to talk to me and you about funeral insurance. So if the transfer's coming through and these people are waiting for a quote, it is absolutely crucial that you know how to pick up the phone. So with that said, let me share with you guys our presentation our script. This is what we expect for you to follow step by step. And if you do, we guarantee a 20% conversion ratio out the gate. And hey, we're putting up the leads for free. We're putting up our money where our mouth's at. But in return, we ask that you follow this script word by word. But before we dive into the script, just let me share you a couple audios with you guys of what it sounds like, and then we'll dive into the script. And after we go through this, if you can duplicate this script, 
if you can show up every day, then I would love to talk to you about joining me with Royal Neighbors of America, as well as GTO. These two companies are my favorite. They go hand in hand. And I'm happy to say we can do a lot of business with them. So stand by, listen in, and ask yourself, you can follow the script. I really appreciate your time, Mr. Robert. We're sorry that Gabriel Boo could not be reached at this time. Please leave a message after the... I really appreciate your time, Mr. Robert. Stay on the line. Yeah, just a moment, Mr. Robert, I will try again, okay? Okay. Yeah, I really appreciate your time. Good morning, Laura on the Final Express Department. Who do I have to speak Hey, good morning, sir. My name is Sean Wilson. I have a beautiful personality on the phone. His first name is Robert, and his last name spelled it's B A R L O W. And he's uh, living in the state of Missouri, and he's 78 years old. Can you assist him further? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Robert. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Robert. Once again, my name is Laura Herrera. And I'm going to be assisting you here this this morning. Uh, would you confirm that the information you provided to my assistant is correct, Robert? I'm sorry. What did you say? Would you Would you confirm that the information that you provided to my assistant was correct? It's correct. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Well, uh, Mr. Robert. Um, were you looking for this funeral insurance quote for yourself or for a spouse or a child? For myself. All right. Thank you for that. Well, let's see if you qualify. You know, the good news is that we don't require a medical exam. We're just going to ask some health questions to see what you qualify for, okay? Now, some of the health questions I'm going to ask you, some of the health questions I'm going to ask you, Mr. Robert, it's obvious that there's no application to you, but I still legally have to ask you, okay, a license agent in the state of Missouri. So let me ask you this. In the last 12 months, have you used tobacco products? No. No. Okay. Um. Is the proposed that you're currently hospitalized in a nursing facility or receiving hospice care? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. No. Are you confined to a wheelchair, bed, or using oxygen equipment to assist in no. breathing? Yes or no? No. No. As a member of the medical profession. All right. As a member of the medical profession, ever diagnosed or treated you for acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS-related complex, ARC, or have you tested positive for the human immunodeficiency virus, AIDS virus, for the purpose of obtaining insurance, or any immune deficiency disease besides HIV? Yes or no? No. No. Has a proposed insured ever been diagnosed as having or been treated for congestive heart failure or had or been recommended to have an organ transplant, insulin shot, diabetic coma, amputation caused by disease, or taken insulin shots prior to age 30? Yes or no? No. No. Dementia, Alzheimer's disease, or mental incapacity? No. No. During the past 18 months, has a proposed insured been diagnosed as having a stroke, aneurysm, cardiomyopathy, or circulatory surgery? Yes or no? No. Angina, chest pain, heart attack, or failure, or heart surgery? Yes or no? 
No. No. During the past 24 months, as the post insured, been diagnosed as having or been treated for internal cancer, melanoma, or leukemia, cirrhosis, liver disease, kidney failure, including dialysis, chronic kidney disease, or systemic illness. Yes or no, sir? No. No. During the past 18 months, as proposed in children, diagnosis of having a condition expected to result in death within 12 months, yes or no? No. No. Have you been advised by a medical profession to have any diagnostic testing which has not been completed or for which the results have not been received, yes or no? No. No. Have you been recommended to have treatment or counseling for alcohol or drug abuse? Yes or no? No. No. And the last set of questions. During the past 24 months, has a proposed insurer been diagnosed as having or been treated for stroke, angina, chest pain, heart attack, or cardiomyopathy? No. No. Heart or circulatory surgery, including a pacemaker, heart valve replacement, bypass, angioplasty, stent implant, or any procedure to improve circulation to the heart or brain, yes or no? No. No. And during the past 24 months, has the proposed insured been diagnosed as having or been treated for emphysema, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or tuberculosis, yes or no? No. No. Neuromuscular disease, including multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, epilepsy, or Parkinson's disease? No. No. All right. Mr. Robert, uh, you did say you're 78 years old, but what's your actual date of birth? 415 of 44. And how tall are you, Mr. Robert? 5'10". And how much do you weigh? 175. 175. Okay. And uh, what type of medications are you currently taking these days? I take nothing. No medication. Wow. Okay, with that said, uh, when was the last time that you visited with your doctor? Mm, been about six months. Six months? Okay. And you haven't had a fluctuation in weight, unexplained weight loss, something just unexplained? No, I have not. Okay, hold on a minute here. And the last time that you took, you took your blood pressure, um, do you remember if it was uh, how high it was? Was it over 130, 180? No, I really don't remember. Okay. All right, bear with me. And are you a veteran, you a veteran? Mr. Ryan? No. no. Okay. How about a union man? Are you a union worker? No. No. Were you retired from the union? Okay. Nope. Nope. All right. I did not. No? Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that information. Okay. Well, you know, congratulations, Mr. Robert. You know, based off what you told me so far, it does appear you may qualify for one of our best programs. And, you know, most of the people that I talked to today, they're faced with a big problem. And the problem is the high cost of death. And, Mr. Robert, you know, you're probably aware of this, you know, but the average funeral these days, you know, in the state of Missouri is anywhere from six to $10,000. And that's a lot of money, wouldn't you agree, to come out of pocket? Yeah, they're low life bastards. Excuse my friend. Right? But I'll be glad to repeat it. 
<laughs> but you know what, Mr. Robert, what we do is help you do things. We not only help you fund this in advance, but we also furnish you a free memorial guide that will allow you the ability to put all your final wishes down for your family. Now, I'm going to share with you the features and the benefits of this policy. The name of the company is Royal Names of America, and they're out of Rock Island, Illinois. And they've been paying claims now for 125 years. Now, the program is a permanent life policy. Guarantees are being there for the rest of your life. Your premiums will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease. And as I mentioned to you at the beginning of our conversation, we don't do no medical exams to get you qualified. We'll ask you the health questions that we already went over. But most importantly, we pay our claims within 24 hours of receiving the required paper. Now, do you know why the company pays claims so fast? No, I don't. Well, sir, the reason the insurance company pays claims so fast is real simple. You see, when we leave this world, it's going to So there you guys go. One more introduction. And he will share a funeral code that's perfect for you in the next few minutes. So is that okay if I connect your call? Okay, go ahead. That's great. So today is 31st of May uh, 2022. You will be transferred to our life insurance specialist about this final expense code using an automated dialing system. Even if your number is registered any state or federal do not call list, even give you a call back and your consent is not required, Ms. Shirley. Uh, as a condition to purchase anything from us, okay? Okay. Here we go. Just stay with me. Let me connect your call. And when the call is connected with my license agent, first I will introduce you. Here we go. Final best department. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Yeah, this is David in the verification department. I have a beautiful personality. Uh, Shirley Pilcher. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A very simple script. I've used this script over the years. <clears throat> I've been doing this now 12 years over the phones. This is a solid script. Now, I work several different scripts. But because our lead quality is so high, these people are waiting for a quote, but you got to know how to pick up the phone. You got to know how to talk to these people. And unfortunately, a lot of people that get on the phone, they get into this logical thinking and they sabotage the call within the first 120 seconds. I am looking for agents that can follow a scripting system, that can follow a sales process and that can follow our closing strategy because we have a very specific closing strategy that works. So I hope this helped you guys see a little bit of our madness. It's very systematic. It's very repetitive. If you can follow a script, call me. We can start you at 70 to 80%, no lead cost to you. I provide the training. I show up every day. And I train my people from the front. Give me an opportunity to earn your business. And in return, I'll show you how to sell some insurance. You guys have a great week. And give me a call. God bless you. Peace.